Now that included the family of Raymond McGee, who died in January, just days after being found unresponsive in his cell. Here's ABC 24's Leah Williams. The pain and unanswered questions linger for the family of Shelby County inmate Ramon McGee, found unresponsive and covered in bugs in his Shelby County jail cell January 10th. Just because you're black and you have mental health issues does not mean you should be sentenced to death. McGee died in the hospital just two days later from infestations and organ failures. He would get food three times a week that we would um, have sent to him. And for some reason, we don't understand why they found his stomach mm. empty. While McGee's family said their final goodbyes Tuesday at Mississippi Boulevard Christian Church, activists and families also honored Jershawn Freeman, Dion Bird, and Marcus Donald, three other men who lost their lives in the Shelby County Jail in recent months. When they go to 201 Park, they The Shelby County Sheriff's Office released a statement last month saying efforts are underway to restructure their security operations team to keep similar incidents from happening again. Criminal charges have also been filed against some of the jailers involved in these cases, but activists say they will continue to shed light on that and other reforms. We're going to make sure that Shelby County feels national pressure. Attorney Crump and Reverend Sharpton are calling for the Department of Justice to open an investigation into the Shelby County Sheriff's Office. Now, if they take that on, Crump says it would be the first time that he's seen the DOJ investigate a police department and a sheriff's office in the same city at the same time. Pepper? Certainly busy there. Thank you, Leah.